Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to use a cable shutter release for long exposure or night photography. So if you really want to reduce camera shake or any movement in long exposure photography, it's really worthwhile investing in a long exposure cable shutter release or a remote control for your shutter. Um, in this video, I'm going to be using a cable release um, for my Canon 70D. And I'll also put a link down below um, for more steps to this guide and a link to the product itself. I think from memory it cost me under $7, so it's a, it's a massively inexpensive product that can really deliver a lot of value. So before I actually attach the camera itself, I'm just going to go over a few settings of the camera that I've changed. Um, so let's take off my lens cap first. Uh, the very first thing I have done is I've gone into manual focus. Um, and this is just because when you attach the cable itself, it will try and autofocus. So it's best to get in focus before you actually try and take the photo. And the second thing I've done is gone into bulb mode or manual mode on my camera. And I've also done the settings for what I'm doing. So I've got a five second exposure and aperture of f22. So this is going to allow in hardly any light. And um, I've done an ISO of 100 as well. So the next thing is I'm going to attach the cable itself. Um, so you can see the cable here, I've got it dangling. So I'm using a Canon 70D and this cable itself is also compatible with Nikon as well. Um, so it's a pretty universal product that you can attach to pretty much any DSLR. So I'm going to open up the side of the camera here. Oh no, that's not the right one. It's this one here. So if you can see there, the top is for the external microphone port and the bottom is for the cable release. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert that. And now I'm pretty much good to go. Um, so if I was out on location, I'd be standing from a safe distance. Um, and sometimes you can even wrap the cable around the handle um, just to lessen any camera shake that may come from the cable itself. So now I'm in manual focus, I'm on manual mode, settings are done, cables attached. So now I can pretty much just go ahead, press this down. And as you can see, the mirror has locked up and the photo has been taken. And there we go. The photo is done. And that's pretty much it guys for this tutorial. Um, hopefully it's been helpful. And again, I'll put a link down below in the description um, to the website and the product itself. And as always, thanks for watching.